Hello, hello, hello! It's Marina Ray, and today I'm coming at you guys with my June TBR. Enjoy yourself. Take only what you need from me. Let me address the elephant in the room. Uh, look at the new bookcase and the new paint and the new lights and these gold dipped feathers. Like, how, do you guys like this? I'm digging it. I'm actually really digging it a lot. It takes some time to put together, but I really like the end product of it. Now, this is going to be a relatively short TBR because I do have the Cremathon coming up in June. Between June 10th and June 17th, I will be reading seven books in seven days um, to participate in the Cremathon, which is hosted by, I know one of the hosts is Julia Sapphire. I can't remember the other host, but I'll, I'll give you guys more info the closer we get to June 10th. But yeah, so this is just going to be books that I'm reading other than the books included in the Cramathon TBR, which I will be giving you guys before the 10th. <laughs> the first book I'm hoping to get around to reading in June is Incarnate by Jody Meadows. You guys have probably seen this if you watched my last haul video. In this world, everybody is reincarnated. There's never a new soul until Anna comes around. Anna is a new soul. She's never been reincarnated, anything like that. And people are like, what in the world? The next book in my June TBR is Shadow Hunters by Cassandra Clare. Yes, I have not read this yet. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like literally, if I just can't even, I don't understand why I haven't read this myself. So guys, be nice to me. But if you have been living under a rock and you're like me and haven't read this yet, this is about a girl who comes across these guys in the middle of a crime they are committing and ends up being pulled into this world of shadow hunters. Which are people who hunt vampires and werewolves and stuff like that. Her mother disappears and she's attacked by a demon and so she gets thrown into this world of shadow hunters and I've heard great things about it. I'm probably going to have to binge this whole series after reading this because a lot of people whom I trust their opinions have really enjoyed it. The next book is The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. This is about this journalist who gets sent on a cruise for an assignment and while she's there everything is going good until one night she hears a woman being thrown overboard the ship. The only thing is everyone on the ship is accounted for. Nobody seems to be missing. So this book sounds so good. I haven't read any thrillers really so I'm excited to really get this one read. I've heard mixed reviews on it but I'm really down for a thriller. The next book is The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab and I really want to read this because I really want to get to Our Dark Duet by next month. I'm so excited to read that. I've heard great reviews on both of these but especially Our Dark Duet. The Savage Song and Our Dark Duet are, is like a duology. The Savage Song is about a girl named Kate and a boy named August and the girl wants to be like her father which I don't really know what that means. But he, she wants to be like her father and ruthless and stuff and she's going home to prove a point. And August is a monster and he can steal your soul by singing a song. They come together, they're the only two that can see that the world is divided and that they both want to fix it in their own way. The next book that I'm going to be reading in the month of June is Red Queen. I explained a little bit about it in my haul video, but in case you're just tuning in, it is about these two different types of people. One type of people has red blood, the other type of people has silver blood, and the silvers are like the elite people. They have like special powers and stuff. Well, this girl ends up showing she has powers to the king, and the king is like, what? You have red blood? you can't have a power like what in the world but she does so he takes her into hiding turns her into this long lost silver blood princess and then betrothes her to his son in the beginning i get mad at the plot because i'm like i first of all i don't like the idea of betrothing somebody I, i've never liked that idea but then again you're lowly red blood and then you become a like silver blood while it's not right in any way I mean you couldn't really be mad at the situation <laughs> I mean I don't know <laughs> then the book I'm so excited for <laughs> to kill a kingdom by Alexandra Cristo it says I have a heart for every year I've been alive there are 17 hidden in the sands of my bedroom. 
Every so often, I claw through the shingle just to check they're all still there. Buried deep and bloody, I count each of them so I can be sure none were stolen in the knot. It's not such an odd fear to have. Hearts are power. And if there's one thing my kind craves more than the ocean, it's power. This sounds so good. I think that it is a Little Mermaid retelling. I've heard it said a few times it's a Little Mermaid retelling, but I haven't really looked it up and looked into it. This is my predicted five star of the month. And I know based on a few other like reviews I've watched on this, that's a little bit of high expectations, but y'all don't know, I love mermaids, love mermaids. So I'm so stoked to read this. Just fingers crossed it's as good as I hope. So that's my TBR guys. I hope that I can get around to everything. Like I said, it was a short TBR because I do have seven other books I have to read within a week in order to participate in the Cramathon. Do not forget to check into my channel around the 10th of June. That's when the Cramathon starts. So I'll be posting my Cramathon TBR before the 10th sometime and then my Cramathon wrap up after the 17th sometime. Go check out Julia Sapphire's channel. I'll link it below. She gives um, all the challenges that you have to read, all the seven day challenges. It's just a bunch of different stuff. I'll post more updates on that before it begins, but I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you later. I can't sit out the door.